Okay, so next anthropometric test that we're going to do is a lung function, and we're going to be using a peak flow meter. Both cylinder tube, but they're both combined. So to start off with, we're just going to set the cylinder tube into the peak flow meter. <coughs> this is going to make, make sure you do it nice and tight, so uh, no air can escape. Uh, so then all we're going to do is get a nice seal over our lips around the cylinder tube. So no air escape because that's going to affect the overall like marking of it. So now we're going to do it. Is you're going to breathe in before you start and blow out as hard as you can. So I'll do it again just to show you. So you're going to do blow as hard as you can. We're going to do that a total of three times. And we're going to record. We're going to record the, each three things. Take either the average or take the best score. So if you just if you could even grab a cylinder tube for me, please, because I can't touch your health and safety reasons. So you're going to do. It. Make sure that's reset and you're just going to pop some of the tube in. Just make sure it's nice and tight. And you're going to blow it three times. What's the first score? 290, okay, so you reset it. What's the next score? 290 again. So one more time. And that's 280. Okay, so two 290s and a 280. Okay, so the next test that we're going to do is waist hip ratio. This is going to be measuring just around about your belly button region, a little bit lower than that, and when your hip bones stick out. So we're going to be measuring them two regions. I probably will be in your personal space, so if you can confirm that you're okay with that, if that's fine. Okay, thank you. So to start the test off, I'm going to be bringing the tape around your belly button area, and I'm going to attach it, and I'm going to pull it a little bit, and this is going to measure it in inches. So if you don't mind, if you just hold that there, and I'm just going to bring it around. Thank you. And I'm just going to attach this here. Now I'm going to pull on it, so if you feel discomfort, just say please. But it shouldn't, it shouldn't bring any discomfort. So we're getting 24 inches there. Okay, so that was for the waist. So we're just going to take that off. So we've got 24 inches for the waist. <coughs> Let's just set that. Now we're going to do the hips, so this is just round about <coughs> with where your hip bones kind of stick out. So we're just going to, if you hold the tape again, we're going to go a little bit lower, so a little bit there. I'm just going to bring the tape around. Can you hold that, please? Again, I'm going to put the clip in and I'm going to tighten it. If you feel any discomfort, please just say, but again, it shouldn't be so at all. So I'm just going to pull this. That's fine, I'll just make sure it was all even. Could you, like, could you lift the front up for me just a little bit, please? Because I wouldn't like to touch it that, yeah. So we can lower this side a little bit. Okay, there we go, that's perfect. So we're just going to pull, pull it. So we've got 28 inches for waist. Okay, thank you. That's okay, the next test we're going to do is the height test. So really it's self-explanatory. It's going to be measuring your height. So uh, if you could please pop your shoes off, if that's okay, if you don't mind that. I had to get off there. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what to do uh, to start off with. So, but I'm just going to put my shoes on. So we're just going to step into the indicator. So that's on the uh, bottom. I'm going to put our heels against the edge. We get a nice straight back, straight legs. Make sure your head is tilted forward and arms by your side. So your whole body's going to be straight. You don't need to do anything here. I'm going to. I'm going to bring this down. And you'll feel me place it on top of your head. And just keep your head straight at all times. And once I've confirmed that uh, I've measured your height, I will then lift it back up, and then you'll be able to step out. Because I don't want you stepping out during it, because it could alter alternate the height of it. So if you would please, uh, before we start, sorry, I'm just going to make sure that's firmly in, so it doesn't alter your height. So if you could please step in. Just make sure your feet uh, are firmly against the back, thank you. And make sure your back's straight, and your legs are straight. And just keep looking forward. So I'm going to slowly bring this down, and feel the place on your head. We have 163.2 centimetres. Okay, so next test we're going to do is your weight. Uh, but before we start, I'm just going to push start. And I'm going to pop a 5 kilogram weight onto the scales to determine that it's set accordingly. And yes, it has came up that. Okay, so it's weighing 5 kgs, which means it isn't off, which isn't going to put your weight up. So <clears throat> to start off with, I'm just going to pop it up. To start off with, all you're going to do. You wouldn't mind just to take off your shoes, please. Okay. 
be grand. Thank you. So, all we're going to do, we're going to start again because it goes off automatically. Is before you start, I'm just going to show you what we're going to do. So, we're just going to, just going to step on. You're going to put your feet about hip width apart, <coughs> just so it spreads your weight evenly. And you're just going to look straight forward. We're not bringing the head down, we're not bringing it up. Keep your posture straight, head straight forward. So, if you do that, it might alternate your weight as it's changing the force of gravity. So, we're just going to look straight forward. And while you're doing that, I'll record your weight once it's say, steady and I'll write it down and then I'll tell you when to pop up the scale. So, if you would mind pop, popping up, please. Just keep moving forward. Okay, that's grand, thank you. Okay, so the next test we're going to do is body fat percentage. What we're going to use is the body fat monitor. Uh, this does use electric impulses, but in, in, it's not dangerous at all, so you're perfectly fine with that. But what we've got to fill in first, we've got to do height, weight, age, and if you're male or female. Uh, from the test we did earlier, we'll be able to do this uh, quite easy. So all we're going to do is pop in your height. So we're going to do, your height was 162.3, your weight was 51. 6 kilograms, we're doing kilograms. Uh, if you could confirm how old you are, please. 22. 22, so we're just putting an age of 22 and a male or female. Uh, female. So once we've put all that information, we're just going to push set. Hear a little beeping. Um, I can't push that because this is your details I've been putting, but all you're going to do is you're going to make sure your arms, a big shoulder height going along, so not any lower, not any higher. You're going to get a firm grip on it, but not too tight because too tight can give a bad. Uh, Make a false, false report. Um, so we're going to do is firm grip on it. You're just going to bring your thumb up and push start. And you're going to bring your thumb back and wait for the to occur. So if you just, if you just take it there, just make sure your arms are straight out. Just get your thumb. You're just going to bring it back. It's perfect. Thank you. There we go. That's we've got the results there. It's going to affect your blood pressure. So I'm just going to show you what to do, but I'm not going to activate it, and I'm going to show you what I'll be doing to you. So we're just going to, I'm going to pop it on your uh, your left arm, uh, and we're going to I'm doing it on my right arm, but for you it's going to be your left arm, but that's, that's just protocol. I'm going to be tightening it a little bit, but not too tight, so it's going to inflate, and it'll get tighter. So that's what it's going to look like on, on you. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to push the button for it to go, and it'll start inflating. It will get a little bit tighter. If you feel discomfort, just say, and I'll pull the strap off, and I'll take it off. But uh, this will read your blood pressure, then I'll take it off. Okay, so I'm just going to open this up. So you just bring your arm out, please. I'll just pop that on. Thank you. So just put it around your bicep. Just going to tighten it a little bit. Now bring it around. Put the straps in the way. So we go. Just twist that around. If you would like to relax your arm a little bit, but make sure your bicep's not on the table. That's perfect, thank you. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to Turn it on, and it's going to start inflating. So you just wait for it to inflate, then for it to come back down, and get your blood pressure. Again, if it's too tight, you just say it. Okay. Okay. It should start coming, it'll start coming back down. Then we just need to wait about a minute, and it'll give you your blood pressure. Starting to read it now. Over there. And there we go, that's it. That's not so I'm just going to take this off. Just loosen that. 